Aloha Chris and Chrissy. Here we are at Spinnaker B113. Let's take a look inside. As I said in my previous video, this place needs a total rehab. Okay, got the kitchen. It's a good thing there's no smell of vision. Oof, that perfume is just killing me. Okay, that's where the dishwasher was most likely. Kitchen cabinets. That needs to be replaced with the Formica counter. Appliances are old. These cabinets here. I don't even know why that fridge is still plugged in. I've got the popcorn ceilings. Could possibly contain asbestos. Uh, the carpet is definitely old. Should have worn a mask. Whew, that's, that's, that is strong. <coughs> Got the lanai area here. That's the best part about the whole place. The, the best shape. <laughs> best shape of the condos right here. Get an interior view. So uh, the shell is good. It's got to be gutted, repainted, new flooring, new kitchen, new bathroom, and it'll be good to go. Got some kind of a shelf over there of the door that's really old fashioned. The window covering has got to be changed. They got wallpaper. Looks like they got wallpaper covering up the concrete block here because you can see the lines. So it's not that even. Okay. Back to the kitchen. The ceiling fan is uh, on balance, but it's, it is working. A lot of little hooks and hangers uh, here on the wall, so those got to be patched up through the wallpaper. Front door's got to be uh, resurfaced or repainted, just the edge at least. And then uh, coming into the first bedroom, uh, I guess this would be the second guest bedroom. Okay, Got the closet. The quality of this video is much better, I think. Popcorn ceiling. I gotta replace electrical outlets too, at least uh, new covers. It's minor. It's got like a kind of like a peach color. This uh, looks like they get the wallpaper over the concrete block here. This this side is textured. There's no concrete block on the outside wall, but the interior walls have the uh, textured wallpaper over the concrete block, which is I guess kind of a one way of covering it up in the old days. Now they plaster it. Carpet looks pretty good in the closet. <laughs> These walls seem a little bit uneven, but it's probably because of the, you know, the foundation and uh, put the wallpaper over it, so some bubbles in it and stuff. So that probably could be smoothed out. This is my favorite room here. The commode with uh, beautiful purple uh, paint. Purple pink paint. Got the old fashioned tile floor, small tiles. And this uh, tub, this is, uh, I don't know, kind of interesting. It's for probably for people who can't get in and out of it very easily. She was an elderly lady living here, so I guess that's for, that was a good tub for her. But probably not practical for a rental or, you know, a rent. You probably just want to put a, a nice stand up shower in here. And uh, the old lights. So I guess I think the modern a mistake that people make when they remodel is they uh, redo the whole bathroom. I have cl I have clients that did this and they didn't replace the toilet, and then they had problems with the toilet after. So spend you know four or five hundred dollars, whatever it costs to replace the toilet, is definitely worth it if you're going to rehab the bathroom.
get a brand new toilet. That's just my opinion, but I would do that. Although this one probably still works. I didn't show you this in my other video, but this is a closet here. Same, probably same as your other condo. Okay, now let's see if we get better lighting in this bedroom because there's not, absolutely no light here. So, uh, well, let's see. I can, uh, try to use my video camera flash. That helps. Okay, good. Still haven't figured out this, uh, using my cell phone uh, camera for the light and then the video. So this has got like a purple kind of coloring. Ceiling fan over there. Yeah, this definitely uh, needs to be redone. The closet. Looks like it needs a really good cleaning too, but if you're going to rehab it, it's not nothing to worry about. Alright, and that's uh, the other side there. The ceiling fan is uh, balanced, but it looks like it's probably about 30 years old. I don't even, it's just like a, a rod with a fan on it. It's very interesting. I don't know if they make those anymore. It looks some, like, a, like some wasp or something trying to make a nest up there. I don't know what the heck that is, but interesting. So there's the windows they have to go, the coverings at least. And uh, got the old carpet here, same carpet. Definitely can't salvage that. But probably wouldn't want to either. It's a kind of an ugly brown color. Ooh, that perfume is really strong. It's, must be the perfume room. So I guess that's all you really need to see here. Popcorn ceilings, of course. It's all the same color, the purple. And once again, that's the room, the full view. All right, and back to the hallway. Got the second bedroom. All right, the closet there. Yeah, these walls are very uneven. And then I mentioned in my voicemail, I didn't put in the other video, but this kitchen floor, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it seems like it has a warp in it, which is pretty common in a lot of the older condos, I guess. When they poured the concrete, maybe they poured it unevenly or especially on the ground floor, or um, you know, maybe it's settled, who knows, but it looks like like right there, it seems like it's kind of raised, so I don't know, maybe, maybe Paco could tell us, maybe there's something that could be done to level it off, because I guess it could be a could be a little safety hazard if, you know, I mean, it's not that bad, but if you're going to redo the place and it's not that big of a job, maybe it's worth, you know, trying to level that a little bit more. And again, there's the whole living room. And then, again, the uh, outside area. An eye. Okay. So there you have it. Spinnaker B113. It does need a lot of work, but like I said, if you can get it for the right price, it's definitely worth it. All right. We're signing off now, and uh, hope that video was enough for you to make a decision and, and decide on the price. And... Uh, I'll get this sent over to you when I get back to Kihei. All right, aloha, and have a good night, and happy Easter.